Hi, my name's Ryan. I'm one of the teachers working in the education department here at CleverTouch. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the key features of our new Lynx whiteboard software. You can also have a look at our YouTube channel, just put YouTube and uh, obviously have a look at CleverTouch in there. You can see some of the videos that we've got on YouTube, which will also just take you through some of the features that we've got built into our whiteboard, uh, whiteboarding software. So just so you know, this is linkscloud.app, which is our website where you can manage all of the, the content that you have in your Lynx Cloud um, and all of your users. In the top left hand corner, you can see I've got my username. Nice, quick and easy for me to manage groups within my organisation or the organisation itself if I need to. I've got my Cloud Drive option here where I can link my Lynx Whiteboard up to my Google Drive and to my OneDrive account. So I've got full uh, Google and MS uh, integration on there. And from an IT department's point of view, from managing this within the school, you've also got all of your cross-platform downloads on here. So whether you've got a Windows device, whether you're a Google school, um, whether you want to install this on Android tablets or iOS tablets, uh, iPads, etc., you've got all of that option straight, straight through your uh, Lynx Cloud app account uh, on here. Uh, one thing you can also download is your Lynx Launcher. So once you've downloaded Lynx Launcher to your desktop, coming into here will just show me, as you can see, I'm up to date on all of my products that I've downloaded for CleverTouch, they're all free for the life of your products. You also get all your updates for free. So again, nice and easy for the IT department to manage this um, uh, updates and timing those because obviously you don't want those going out at nine o'clock on a Monday morning when people are just about to deliver lessons. So nice and quick and easy to manage all of that content that you have on there. So just moving into Lynx Whiteboard, we're just going to show you a couple of the key features that have been introduced lately. Um, here you see I've got my little presentation here and I can slide my little tab onto the side so I can have a full screen mode if I need to. Um, we also have a presenting mode in the bottom left hand corner, so I'm just going to now enter that just to show you uh, some of the features that we have in here. I'm just going to come into my presenting mode. So nice and quick, easy, oh, my presentation's obviously got full screen. Um, have a little video embedded in my presentation. As you can see, once I tap on my video, I've got the option to go full screen on here if I need to. Make sure I turn the volume down on that one first. So we can go nice and um, full screen on those videos if we need to, just coming back out to our presentation. In the bottom left hand corner, I've got a preview of my next page. So if I want to, I can tap on that and move to my next page. Here what I have is a, is a PDF that's embedded into my presentation. So this is an 18 page presentation PDF that's been embedded into my, my Lynx presentation. And it's nice and quick and nice and easy for me to be able to move through the pages of that PDF even though it's integrated into my presentation. I've obviously then got my annotation tools here where I can make annotations around my text on the page um, and erase and, and move, make those as I need to. Moving backwards and forwards through my presentation pages, retaining my annotations on the pages where I've made them. So if I exit my PDF here, um, what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to come to stop presenting, um, just move further down my presentation, choosing not to uh, retain my annotations at that page. So one of the things we also have in links here um, is the ability to use what we call flow. So this just means that in my page here, uh, not only do I have my presentation of what's on my next page in my presentation, but I also have little um, icons here where I can move between the individual pages on my presentation as I need to. So we've got a really nice flow. It's nice and quick and easy for me to move between my pages on my presentation. As I tap on them, then I can move back through my presentation and move in and out of those pages nice and quickly and nice and seamlessly. So a couple of the key features that we've got in there um, in our new Lynx whiteboarding software, that PDF integration and then that flow between the pages just makes your delivery much, much smoother in, in your lesson sections. The other thing we have just coming down to my little section at the bottom here where I have an integrated browser in my presentation. So if I needed to access this content very quickly, I can, I can access a web page by just typing in the web address at the top. But I've also got access to a number of games and STEM activities, which are really useful for secondary school and primary school teachers where you can manage all of this content in here. So I can either create this, this content in my Lynx uh, software directly on my device, or I can also do this via a browser on any device that I've got that's web enabled. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea of some of these activities, you can see here, um, just looking at gas and how, uh, how the molecules of gas can interact with each other and how we can change those by the application of heat or decreasing the temperature um, accordingly. So just some nice little STEM activities that are built into the side of your panel here. For example, if we have a look at no number uh, making 10, so just nice and useful for um, primary school teachers looking at that place value and the understanding of, of number. Uh, nice and quick and easy where we can uh, move this content around if we need to, but we can also separate this number out into different uh, numbers if we need to and adding numbers and so on and so forth. So just really nice giving children a really nice understanding of that content um, and that, that context of, of place value with numbers, etc, etc. So all of that content, like I say, is built into the side panel of your presentation and at any point you can slide that back across and you can then have your presentation going 
back to your original presentation that you had. And like I said, if I just come into my browser page here, I can also access my links cloud and my activities and my games are also available in there for me. There's a huge range of different STEM activities that you've got in here, which are ideal for primary and secondary school teachers, just to save you a little bit of time in your lesson deliveries. So like I say, there we go. Having a little look, look, little look at how you manage Lynx whiteboard software, um, how you can integrate some of those new features into your lesson presentations. And like I say, for a bit more information on any of this content, please do visit our YouTube channel, uh, just searching for Clever Touch, and you can find loads more hints and tips about some of the offerings from the Clever Touch team.